Let's get started with this move by the National Dictionary Centre with their mm. term stroll out. Stroll out. One word, term invented by union leader Sally McManus, used to describe delays in the COVID-19 vaccine rollout. Well, that word has been awarded word of the year. I find this extraordinary, Gideon, given if I reckon if I went out and polled 100 people, not one of them would probably have heard of Stroll Out. It, it seems to be just something that's uh, in a very small, far-left circle where it's a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm behind the eight ball on this as well, Rita. I thought a stroll out was one of the four permitted reasons to leave home if you were from Victoria. It was, uh, wasn't it? You could go for a stroll out with a family of two or less or something, one hour a day. No, look, I, have, I haven't heard of this word before ever, and I follow politics for a living. That's my job. Uh, I can't see how this is word of the year. I don't know why the Dictionary Council or whatever it is is awarding uh, prizes to political slogans. But it could have been worse, Rita. I looked at the short list, and one of them was net zero. So thank God, we don't have to give Ned Zero any additional gongs or attention or, uh, or publicity. Oh, it could have been a lot worse. No, I don't agree because at least people know what Net Zero is. If you say, say Net Zero to 100 people, probably at least 90 of them could give you an, <laughs> tell you what it is and what it refers <laughs> to. Rita, with, 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 Stroll with out, respect, on the other I don't, hand, I don't think people do know what Net Zero is. About. Well, no, no, they don't know how we're going to get there or how much it's going to cost or what technologies yeah. are going to get us there, but that could tell you it refers to emissions as a climate policy. Prue, stroll out. No one knows what it means. And one of the rejected options, one of the runner-ups -up, runner was double vaxxed. I would have thought that was a very easy winner. That's a term uh, we've all 100%. been using incessantly for the past year. Well, you know, stroll out's a cop-out. Let's face it, you have to look at who actually nominated the damn words. And it's this bunch of woke academics that are, you know, activists Ugh. who just want to make a political statement. There is no credibility attached to this this organisation, if it is an organisation. I actually think McManus got it wrong. She was actually talking about the work ethic of her union members. They stroll out <laughs> to work, Ouch. do very little in works in terms of productivity. So, you know, she would love it. She'd get quite, you know, captivated by that term and uh, obviously thought she was addressing a bunch of unionists. <laughs> oh, you're going to get into trouble for that, Prue. I know that. Now, the oh, Greens so. dominated... <laughs> <laughs> you love trouble. Uh, the Greens dominated Yarra Council in Melbourne's uh, inner suburbs has proposed to ditch the Australian flag and fly, fly the Aboriginal flag at half mast for a number of occasions throughout the year. The proposal also states uh, it will no longer fly AFL football club flags during the early part of the final series because they want to be consistent between the AFL men's and women's competitions. Oh. Gideon, uh, nothing the Yarra Council, Council does surprises me. So when I saw this, I mm. thought, well, of course, I'm surprised they've even got the Australian flag there. Yeah, look, the Yarra Council is the most left-wing council in the country. It's actually the, the home of Stephen Jolly, who's the, from the Socialist Alliance. The Greens were too right-wing for him, but the bloke has been elected, I think, three or four times. Um, but the issue is, you know, out of Yarra Council, we can expect Tom Foolery around the Aboriginal flag and the Torres Strait Islander flag, even though I don't think there are that many Torres Strait Islanders actually living in the city of Yarra. And we can expect this about women's sport and everything else. But what I find really pernicious and really alarming is ditching the Australian flag. I mean, even... You, you, even a Stephen Jolly, even a card-carrying socialist, ditching the Australian flag outright, really? I mean, we can have disagreements about how the country should be run, who we should elect to govern the country, the direction the country's going, and even the country's history. But we have to accept, as a matter of principle, that there is a country, that a country is a good thing, that we should be working to make our country better and that we're, we all have that in common. Without that, we may as well just hang up a big sign and welcome in the Chinese and tell them to, you know, uh, do their worst because it would save us all time. 